Hey everybody, it's Bean and Bagel. Welcome back to our channel. We're a married couple from the Midwest. I'm from Minnesota and Greg is from Michigan. And we post food reviews here and we're typically posting one to two times a week. So if that interests you, um, that is what we do here. But today is a very special video because we are at Taco Bell. Uh, but specifically the brand new Taco Bell Defy, which is the first of its kind in the world. So it is where the kitchen is located up above and they send the food down to you. So it's a pretty futuristic concept. It's completely contactless and there's no dine-in. Um, so it's kind of a new fast food experience. We will take you through the process so you can stay tuned for that of how it all works. So we are lucky enough to live in the Twin Cities where Taco Bell Defy is located. So we've been able to follow along with the construction process from it being kind of in its early stages where it doesn't really look like anything to kind of it's starting to come together. It looks like a building, but you can't really tell what it is yet to almost completed where you're like, oh, this is actually a building. It's a fast food restaurant and it's starting to look like a Taco Bell, but kind of a funky Taco Bell to now it being fully completed and being able to see kind of the innovations that they were able to put in. So now that it's completed, let's talk about the four ways that you can order. In these four ways, there are all kinds of different intricacies, so try to stay with me. The first way is to walk in. You walk in, it looks like a box office at a movie theater, so there's a microphone that's in the glass. You can talk to the person, order your food, and then there's like this slide window where they'll put the food in that window, you pick it up and you go. The other option while you're inside is there's a kiosk that you can walk over to and if you don't want to talk to anybody at all you're just not in the mood you go over to this kiosk you pull up the menu you pick what you want you pay you put your name in then when it's done they'll call your name you pick it up through this little slide window that i talked about and you go on your merry way the third way is your phone they give you a qr code through the taco bell app you walk in, you tell them what your code is, they give you your food and you go on your way. Now, the second main way is the mobile drive through You can order on your phone through the Taco Bell app and there's no special app, you just get the Taco Bell app so it's all seamless that way. There's not like a Taco Bell Defy app. You order on the app and it gives you a QR code. You enter the special drive through lane for the mobile orders. You pull up to a kiosk, you scan your QR code, and then you pull up a little farther and it gives you your food through this like bank proprietary machine and you go on your way. The third main way is the traditional drive through So you have a menu you pull up to, you speak into the mic, then you pull up a little farther, and get your food through a window and go home. The fourth way is there's a parking area that's also tied in with the drive through that you can use a mobile device and order in your car. So if you don't want to get out of your car or if you have kids and you're undecided or whatever the reason is, or if you're in Minnesota like us and it's freezing outside or if it's late and you're in your underwear and you don't want to get out of your car, you pull up your phone in your car, you order the food, it gives you a QR code, and then you merge into the drive through go up to the QR kiosk dealio, scan your QR code, then pull up a little farther to the proprietary machine that looks like the bank teller machine, get your food, and you go home. So those are the four ways that you can order at Taco Bell Defy. Man, they thought about like so many different ways that you could place an order, it's nuts. But uh, to talk about our experience with ordering, we placed a mobile order. And so like Greg said, you just use a regular Taco Bell app. You will select the Taco Bell Defy location within the app in order to place your order there. 
and so you'll go through the app and look at all the items figure out what you want i recommend the chalupa but uh, once you've selected what you would like you go to the checkout put in your payment information and once you are all checked out you are given a qr code so that qr code uh, it does stay within the app, but it also is emailed to you in case you lose service or something and you can't get to it. Um, they do send it to you two different ways, which is kind of handy. So you would then pull into the drive through lane, which is what we did for the mobile order pickup. You go up to the screen and you just scan that QR code that's on your phone. And then uh, they know that you are there the kitchen starts preparing to send your food down through their little machine and you pull your car up to the machine and your food comes shooting down. As far as try it or walk by it, um, I thought it was super cool so I think it's a try it. It feels very futuristic. It also feels like nostalgic because it reminded me of being a little kid when like you're really fascinated by that shoot thing at the bank and you're like with your mom and you're just like wow it like sucks it up and like shoots it back down so it kind of felt like futuristic and nostalgic at the same time which is kind of fun so i really liked it and it was also very quick and easy the food was fresh so i like taco bell it's a try it for me for me uh the app was real seamless. It was nice that they put it all into their one Taco Bell app like I talked about before. Um, I think that when I walked in and ordered, the kiosk was real seamless, really easy to understand. The staff was really easy to talk to. I could see how maybe if it's busier, it might be hard to hear them um, when you have those little microphones in the glass and whatnot. I do also like that it's all inclusive. And so what I mean by that is they thought about just about every circumstance that I can think of, you know, mm -hmm. a family that's undecided and you don't know what you want yet, but you can still merge into the drive-through. You don't need to just park somewhere else. You can just park in the lane that merges into the drive-through and then merge when you're ready to get into the drive-through. Um, I like that the person that has to take the bus or is riding on a bike or whatever you know you have to walk in and order those kind of things and i like the um the safety aspect for the for the staff and themselves we've all seen youtube videos with people that get upset with orders and there's no barrier between them and the customer and so i think that's a good safety aspect and the airborne diseases, we all just went through COVID not too long ago. It makes sense that there's a barrier there, even if it's not COVID. You just, you wanna to go to work, you don't wanna get sick, all the customers breathing all over you or whatever. <laughs> so all in all, to me, it's a try it just because of the experience. I'm not a huge Taco Bell fan as far as its food, just overall, but there are a few things that you know I'll have when I go there. But yeah, overall, it's a try it. And the experience itself, to me, made me feel like I was in Back to the Future, even though I could see how somebody would be like, well, dude, you've been to a bank before. That's what it <laughs> feels like, is a bank. So that's not Back to the Future. <laughs> but as far as fast food goes and the concept, it being the first in the world, all that kind of stuff, it's a try it. For sure. Um, thanks for joining us. I really don't think I have any more to blab about. And I hope that we helped you understand Taco Bell Defy. We're so glad that you watched our video, and we wish you well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!